All right, I'm here with Don, and you're the Township of Lawrence uh, Home Inspector? Housing Inspector. Housing Inspector. All right. And a common question a lot of times is asked, in Lawrence, it's known as a CI? Correct. Which is Certification of Inspection? <clears throat> certificate of Inspection for a Property Transfer for a Sale of a Home. And most people think of it as a CO? Even the attorneys call it a CO. A CO is actually issued when the property is first built or a major renovation or reconstruction is done, a construction official will issue what we call a CO. <clears throat> After that, it changes. When you change a water heater or a HVAC heating and air conditioning system, we issue what we call a certificate of approval. In the case of a resale, it's called a certificate of inspection. All right, so in doing these certificate of inspections, is there a more common thing that you see come up that homeowners aren't aware of that you bring to their attention that means they've <clears throat> got to address something? Um, it could be the fire extinguisher requirement. That's a state requirement. But in most cases, people do work without a permit. So when I go out to do the inspection on the resale, um, they always give me a, a printout of all the permits issued for the property. Our records cut off about 1993, 1994. We have very little before that. So before but, you go and visit the home, you've done a search and you see what permits have been right. opened and closed. Correct. And if, for example, someone had finished a basement and you walk down and you see a finished basement and you look on your sheets, you don't see any permit that was open for that. <laughs> So what does that do to the homeowner? What has to happen? It's a time delay. Um, can be extensive time delay in some cases. Um, I see a lot of HVAC systems that are installed without permits, finished basements, converted to garages, and so forth. If the work is that extensive, it can be quite a delay. Um, the closing is not going to happen anytime soon, that's for sure. All right. Well, thank you very much, Don. And Folks in Lawrence Township file for the uh, certification, and I think it's an $80 $80 charge. for resale. One thing you want to keep in mind in Lawrence is on the north end, once you cross the cold soil road area, the majority of the homes are septic and well. That's something you don't want to wait to the last minute on. Uh, the well water has to be tested by state regulation and the results given to the township as well as the buyers. The septic needs a full-blown inspection by a licensed septic management or septic contractor to see if it's failed or satisfactory. And those things can once again be quite a time delay there. And those aren't done by you, they have to be done <clears throat> by? Third party and in the case of the septic, in most cases the Buyers will have that done because no one's going to buy a home with a failed septic system or not knowing that the septic system has failed because um, out of a minimum you're looking at $40,000, forty to $50,000 for a septic replacement. So. All right, so check and see if the home has a septic well. We have to have those evaluated separately. but. Thank you very much, Don, and okay. move on with your uh, evaluations. All right. All right. Thank you.